I am Slick Nick. It's important that we differentiate the difference between pyramid schemes, or as they're professionally known by people who are involved with them as multi-level marketing, contrast that versus SEO side hustles. Let, let's talk about it. It's very interesting to break this apart and, and consider this. So you're very familiar with pyramid schemes. These days, uh, you'll see people what, on Facebook, it, it could be essential oils, it could be some kind of, have you heard about this new rap thing? I, the weight just falls off and I'm slowed down. Oh, have you tried these herbal supplements? They're gummies, they're great, they give you all, right? You've seen stuff like that, whether it's on Facebook or Instagram, whatever it is, or in real life. I had a guy years ago, knock, I knew the guy, he knocks on my door, he says, hey Nick, do you drink energy drinks? I'm like, no. And he just like puts them through the door. It's like, here's four of them. Try these and let me know. And then he shuts the door. And then, you know, he's calling me days later. How'd you like the drinks? How'd you, hey, do you want to get involved in a great opportunity? You know, it, that's how these things are set up is that you ultimately seem like you're selling a product to people, but really you're recruiting them to sell the product for you so that you get revenue streaming so that you ultimately become rich. And you're doing the same thing for people above you, multi-level marketing. And the reality of this, just look it up, it's something like a 95% failure rate for people who get involved in this. They end up putting money in, often they have to have some kind of start, starter kit or whatever they invest the money in. And ultimately, if they're not successful in recruiting enough people, then they just lose the money. And ultimately, it's awkward to try to recruit your friends anyway. So of course it fails, but the people at the top running these companies out in Utah, where, she, where most of them are ran in U, the state of Utah, that is where they're at. And it's this, it's this concept of, hey, we're a community, we, we're a team, we work together, uh, we, we can do this. But in reality, you're selling your friends, basically, is what you're doing for, for a very low price. And then, uh, and then it's awkward when it ends in three weeks. That's how they're set up. Most are not successful, only the minority. That's not what I'm involved in. What I do on this channel is I am involved in SEO. Now, in case you're new to this channel, it's, it's easy to believe that YouTubers just, oh yeah, we're so eager to be famous and we just obsess with the thing we talk about. I have debunked that myth so many times. In reality, and most YouTubers won't come out and say this like I will, we get money. You want, the little ad shows before the video, we're getting money from that. I made thousands of dollars last year, actually over $4,000 last year alone, just for my two YouTube channels. And that's only two of my side hustles. I also put in Amazon links. You don't realize this, but when you're on, reading articles and there's a link and you click it and it's to Amazon and you buy any product whatsoever, the person who put that link gets a cut of that. And sometimes it's a lot of money depending on what the product is. For example, last year when I shaved my head, I had a certain device called the Remington Shortcut Pro. I sell dozens of those a week and make a lot of money just from that, and that was well over a year ago. So that's another one with the Amazon link. Another one is on my blog, Family Friendly Daddy blog. I have it set up to where uh, it's popular enough, it's been around for a decade now, it's basically real estate. People want to do guest blog posts, so they'll put their blog post on there, putting a link back to their, to their company or whatever, and they'll pay me $35 just to do that. All I'm doing is really copy and pasting them and then sending them an invoice. And I'm making, like last week alone, just two out of nowhere popped up. And, hey, can I do that? Yep, 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 yep. There was $70 from two of them. So this is a way that I'm able to make money on the side. And granted, yes, I do have an amazing full-time job. But when I'm not doing that, I'm always making money. I was born in 1981. I've got a separate video about that. If you want to know why people born in 1981 are especially obsessed with money, you can watch that video. So this is the difference. If you're in a multi-level marketing situation, or as the rest of us call it a pyramid scheme, you're going to fail. You've got a 95% chance you're gonna fail and probably lose some friends in an awkward way in the process. Or you can get behind the scenes and people won't necessarily even realize that you're selling anything to them, which is how I do it. In fact, most of the money I make is from people I have never met in real life and never will meet in real life because ultimately I have provided something they wanted, which is from this channel, entertainment or some kind of knowledge that they needed. Or I help them buy the product from the cheapest way through Amazon. Or I allow them to basically put up a free commercial for their uh, business or company on my blog. So 
that's the difference between multi-level marketing and SEO science, SEO, search engine optimization. It's a matter of behind the scenes, who's really, who are the real estate agents behind the internet on the other side? It's people like me. I made so many thousands of dollars in 2018 off of my side gigs like this, my side hustles, that I, I wasn't prepared to make that much money. I came very close to actually owing taxes. Fortunately, I barely broke it. I think I came in like $100 in the clear. Uh, so now I, I have to be that much better about paying my taxes up front before the, the April deadline so that I definitely don't owe taxes. I, I cut it pretty close, but I still was legal and legit. But that's how much money I'm making on the side, behind the scenes. Meanwhile, other people are trying to sell essential oils or whatever it is. And hey, come over, hey, come over to my house. We're gonna have a get together. It's gonna be real fun. You get there and they're wanting to sell you oils, wrap, chewy gummies, supplements, smoothies, whatever it is. That's, they're not really wanting to be your friend. They're just wanting you to, and it makes it awkward. You could be the Lone Ranger over here like me, slick neck, get behind the scenes, make money when you're sleeping as I do. And it's funny because as I'm closing this video, I'm actually thinking of those ads that pop up when you actually are about to watch, you know, the trailer for the next Marvel movie. And some guy says, hey, would you like, and, and he's basically doing what I do and he'll have his yacht or his Jeep Wrangler in the background. And yes, part of the reason I was able to afford this Jeep Wrangler is largely in part to do with all of my side hustles that I do. So if you wanna learn more about that, I guess I could put a link in here and you can actually see the article, one of the articles I've written talking about this. But clearly for me, it's not about multi-level marketing, it's about SEO side hustling. And I am Slick Nick, I am the king of the SEO side hustle. You got thoughts on that? You know where they belong? I'll tell you where they belong, right here in the comments section.